We're Sid and Mackie. For the past six years, we've been racing mountain bikes professionally and traveling in our van. This year, we've both been rehabbing injuries. Last week, Mackie was cleared to start riding on the road for the first time since hand surgery. But since it will be a few more weeks until he can ride mountain bikes, he needed a road-based challenge to keep himself entertained. And it's safe to say, he got a little more than he bargained for. Alright, this is embarrassing, but I've already screwed up again. So, do you want to explain to the people what on earth <laughs> this is? <laughs> And what on earth you are doing right now? This is a long tiny loop. This is currently the number one long tiny loop. Um, long tiny loop is something that I actually heard about from Niner. It was in one of their newsletters. It like came out of COVID, the idea of people not being allowed or like only being allowed to exercise within a certain radius of their house. It was like, oh, you can only exercise within a mile of your house or something. And like lots of people obviously just did loops like over and over and over but some people came up with this idea of a long tiny loop which is basically like a you're long tiny loop it's a long tiny <laughs> yeah you're you're basically you're making a loop well any video. shared intersection oh wow so basically Where is this? like san francisco or something let's see new york new york okay um, um so basically he that is i don't incredibly know incredibly impressive where he started i don't see the start but um this is like a hundred kilometers of like city blocks. Yeah, so it's 60 forth. miles, but you can see that what he did was basically go like up, back, and like any time he could add little jagged teeth, he would do that, and then up, back, up, back, and he just did that, and the whole diameter here, let's go look at this one, so the distance was 107 kilometers, the diameter was 3.6 oh, kilometers. Oh my god. <laughs> Number two is 84 kilometers in 3.63 <laughs> rule violations, which will disqualify you. One is just randomly like riding through fields. So basically you have to follow established roads and trails. One is running around a large empty yeah. field. <laughs> <laughs> returning to an intersection you've already passed through. So even if it's on the opposite corner and you aren't actually yeah. crossing it, that doesn't count. Yeah. And then running the same section of road twice, even an opposite side. So like even if it's a two lane highway, you can't do the same road sure. twice. Sure, that makes sense. And then excessive weaving and ending the loop more than 100 meters where it began. So that's important. You basically, it has to be a loop. My plan, because I can ride outside now, which is awesome, but I'm not allowed on the mountain bike yet. So I'm gonna do a long, tiny loop. And I feel like this is a great one if, like if you want a challenge, but not necessarily a challenge that has to do with like difficulty. Yeah, it's like, almost like more of a mental challenge. Yeah, than... exactly, in a, in a planning challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm planning on creating a route here on stages um so that like creating a course here and then trying to figure out like where is going to be my most efficient place to do one of these long tiny loops here in boulder don't want anything that's long and skinny because it takes the longest point right so like this would count as a circle like all the way around so i don't want right. to do that so is there like a program you can use to like draw a circle and then like fill in everything in that or something like not that i know of <laughs> If any of you guys are inspired by this video and want to try a long, tiny loop, tag us on Instagram, at Sid and Mackie. We would love to hear how it goes for you and um, see your route. That's our challenge, you guys. Tag us, at Sid and Mackie on Instagram. Tag us in the photo, otherwise we might not see it. South Boulder, approximately a mile. That's approximately a mile. Okay, that, that means there's some potential for this area. That's my diameter. I can see like what else falls within that that I can take advantage of. All right, I decided that because I'm not good at estimating what a circle is just by looking at it, I now have a circle. So I can put it on the screen. That's an even better idea. All right, here's my brilliant plan. Okay. This is my circle. Now I have to make it as complicated as possible, as long as possible. All right, here 
it is, my final path. As you can see, <laughs> this side is streets, this side is the university. It will be a miracle if I am able to pull this <laughs> off. Maggie, <laughs> you had to go and overachieve, right? You couldn't just like... Well, where else was I going to do it? There's not really anywhere that's better. Like... No, no, I just mean like... square. Like you had to use every path. Oh, totally. If you're going to do a long, tiny loop, you got to do it properly. I just feel a little concerned about these sections. <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> like this is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, well, we shoot at the beginning. this is saying 33.2 miles. I just feel like this is going to take you forever. Yeah. Well, it's 30 miles, and I feel like you're going to have to go, like, super slow the whole time to not miss any of these turns. <laughs> right? Like, as soon as you're, like, going to be like, oh, I'm going to get into the flow, you're going to blow right past, like, something, and then you're going to come to an intersection. True. Like, are you sure this is legal? Like, that looks like it's all over top of each other, I but know, it isn't because it's all these in. little bike paths. Yeah. Like, even right here, like, looks like that it's two different bike paths. Okay. I think it's where you're gonna have trouble with the GPS, because that's like a little rabbit's nest of things. <laughs> Should be entertaining. <laughs> I will tell you guys that if you're thinking of doing a long, tiny loop, I would not make your course just before you go to sleep. <laughs> or you might have dreams of long tiny loop courses all night, which is definitely what happened to me. So uh, yeah, it's not the most relaxing way to go to sleep. Do something else more relaxing and then do this in the morning. I think today's ride calls for, well, four waffles. Hey, good morning, pup. Hi, hi, sweet girl. Come, pup. I think I am all ready. I got the camera on. I've got hydration mix. I've got some snacks because this could take a while. But before I head out, I want to say thank you to Competitive Cyclists for sponsoring this video and helping make this channel possible. You can find so much of the stuff that we use on Competitive Cyclist, including for today, the Stages Dash L50. Obviously, if you're going to be doing a long, tiny loop challenge, a cycling computer makes a huge difference. Um, being able to like plan your route ahead of time and then load it onto your cycling computer and then follow it as opposed to just trying to remember it. <laughs> I know I would never be able to remember it. Some of you might know your areas well enough and be able to memorize stuff like that. Me, I definitely need the cycling computer. I also love it because it has a really huge screen which is going to make today a lot easier um, as well as full color display great battery life. I mean, really, this thing is amazing. I use it every ride. I use it for training because you can do intervals and you can put pre-planned workouts in there. I use it for mapping stuff. I love it for racing. I don't know what I would do without having a cycling computer. So if you would like to check out the Dash L50, it is available on Competitive Cyclist and they have given us a discount code to share with you guys. That discount code is SIDMACKY15, all caps, which will get you 15% off your first order. Some exclusions apply. Now I'm gonna get this thing fired up, make sure my route loaded successfully and see if I can actually successfully follow it. Which I admit, I have some doubts because I made a really, really complicated route. Should be able to go into courses. Yep, long tiny loop. And we'll click on it. Do you want to ride this course now? Yes. And now it says start course. That is real straightforward. All right, let's start the course. It's that time officially. This is the start of my very, very complex course. I think this is gonna be really hilarious and fun. And uh, yeah, let's go. Well, I've never been in this part of Boulder before. These houses are crazy. Okay, going through Chautauqua Park. I used to come here as a kid with my grandmother, because she lived in Boulder, like just down the hill. So we'd walk up here and we'd have breakfast, which I have very fond memories of. Ah, oh, shoot, I missed my first turn. I was supposed to turn earlier. And then this is that one. So now I'll go, I can't get off one or I'm 
screwed. So I turned to there, now I'm gonna turn here. I'm gonna skip this next street, uh, which is an alleyway. That's why I missed it. And then I'll turn right on Arapahoe. Okay, back on course. Okay, I am off of nice square things for a little while, square streets. So now I've really got to focus. Okay, I'm going left. But then what? So, turning right. I think I might have been able to go through there, but I didn't want to have to turn around. Yeah, I probably could have. That's okay. I missed that little section. No, maybe not. It's okay. I just cut a little bit of a corner and it shouldn't cause me to go over anything that I need to not. And then back this way. Uh-oh, I missed another turn. and I get myself out of this. If I'm right there and that splits, if I go left, definitely wanna go left. And then if I go right again, that off. What is my goal here? If I go left, that'll go back that way. If I go right, I think I can go over here. Oh no, guys. I think I blew it. So I am uh, nine miles in, so maybe a quarter, third or a quarter, about an hour. And I screwed up, like to the point where I'm on the same street, this street right here. Curse you, Grove Street. Um, I have been on Grove Street already going that direction. I just got in Grove Street going that direction, which means that I have officially failed. I think what I'm gonna do is, because I was on this section not that long ago, is I'm going to save this, upload it, start a new route from here, and now that I know how I screwed up, try to not screw up, but essentially start my loop from this point. So instead of going back to the very start, um, because that would be a pain. I will start from here, redo this section because it's a very tricky section, and then continue, hopefully not screw up again, continue, and then when I get to the end, just keep going and then do the beginning again because I was successful in that and that is the easier part. Start over. Make sure my map is still loaded. All right, this is embarrassing, but I've already screwed up again. I'm only a couple minutes away. I'm gonna go back to this starting point again and start again. All right, what do you guys think? Third time's the charm? I'm certainly hoping so. Right there to my right is where I screwed up because I didn't turn in through this alleyway. But I got the alleyway this time. I'm uh, deviating somewhat from my course, but more or less. <laughs> Ah, 
hope this is the right way. No, this is something I'm supposed to be on later. That's confusing. Going the other direction, okay. Maybe I can salvage it. So here, I need to go that way. I'm back on the hill, what they call this area, going straight up on the baseline, straight back down, over, up, etc. I like this section because it's really straightforward and easy not to miss turns. All right, I think it's time for a snack. Well, I wish I hadn't put this on my route. My only mud section. Gross. Not the bike for stairs. But it handled them pretty well. Man, I gotta stop accidentally putting stairs into the route. Those are rough. Uh-oh, I did not anticipate upstairs. Cyclocross style. All right, I'm approaching the original start. <laughs> right about two hours, 21.8 miles. And then I have to redo the beginning part. But now that I've done it once, and given that it was pretty straightforward, I feel optimistic. Well, one good thing about doing this part over is that this is a spot that I missed last time. Okay, getting close. And I think there's one thing I screwed up earlier, like I missed the course slightly and I decided that I would be able to make it up. So hopefully I can figure out that spot before I blow it. <laughs> Or I guess I could just miss my right turn and go straight onto here. Good thing there's a bike access. Okay, and then here I need to go left, not straight. Because if I went straight, I would hit the point that I need to avoid. All right, right here. I stop. I think I did it. I'm back at the same spot. It has been two hours and 47 minutes. I've gone at 29.9 miles. So actually a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be. But I think there was like a whole section that I missed. We're gonna have to look when we get back to the house and check the computer. It was really hard. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh cool, like I made the track. I'll just follow it, not a big deal way harder than that. Um, definitely has some thoughts on things I would do differently, but let's head back to the house, upload it, and see how it looks. Look at this epic sandwich that Sid made me. It's epic! 
I think I see pesto and mozzarella cheese and sausage and uh, sauerkraut. Anything else? Did I miss anything else? No, it's kind of a monstrosity. It looks yeah, amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I would eat it. And a recovery drink. Obviously, best wife ever. So now that I've looked at the map more carefully, I'm actually not sure that mine is a valid long tiny loop because there were two intersections, maybe three, that I ended up going through like from opposite sides, which is technically not allowed. So I didn't actually like, my, my route did not touch itself, but it went through the same intersection um, basically because I blew it in a couple of spots and like went past where I was supposed to. So this may not count, but I'm happy to know that it like, if it is a valid one, it's good enough for sixth. If it's not, I think I can do it properly now, now that I understand a little bit better how it works. I also have some ideas on where I can make it better. All right, so right, let's see, where is it? Yeah, right there is one spot that uh, I'm not sure. No, I think that one was okay. I think that one was actually two different trails. There was one spot where I, where was it, where was it? Ah, right here. This spot right here was the same intersection from like two different sides, basically. Right here, I was like on this side, I was on the bike path right next to it, and then I was on the street, and then I went back around, and then I was on the bike path on this side. So I think that is valid, but hard to say for sure. If I were to do it again, what I'm gonna do is, if you look carefully here, you can see that down the center of each of these spots is an alley. And I think they didn't show up in the mapping software, which is why I didn't use them. But if I can use those alleys, I can almost double the amount of distance I can get, like here, 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 like all the way through this section which would make a huge difference. So at some point I will probably try this again because now that I know what to look for, how to like make this better, I have some ideas on how I could simplify things to make it a little easier to follow. I would highly recommend giving this a try if it sounds like fun to you. It's it's really nice and like it sort of forces you into a different mindset. Like initially I was like, oh man, like I can't believe I screwed it up. And then I like got into it and I was like, this is fun. Like it's totally inefficient. It's the most inefficient way of riding because you are not trying to go from point A to B quickly. You're trying to go as long as possible. But it was kind of fun to get in that different mindset and, and just have like a weird, fun, fascinating, like mental challenge. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to be more awesome.